Hello everybody and welcome. I'm the Grounded Glass Griffith and I'm all on the Poker 2 this channel and I want to welcome you to the battle of the TDL Season 2 Week 1 versus Hailstorm as you can see. The team you see in front of you is the team from today's earlier Steam, Beat vi team Builder video. Be sure to check it out also. And uh, just for the people who did not want to watch it or did miss it indeed, we are bringing a Mega Venusaur, a Defensive Skarmory, a Salt Fest Gudra, Defensive Galissapod, Rocky MZ, Greninja and a Choice Scarf Tornadus. On my opponent's side, you're seeing Weavile, Sceptile, Mega, Volcanion, Excadrill, Mantine, and Hippowdon. Looking at this team, I didn't quite know what to actually lead with. I wanted to go Greninja or Tornadus, but I knew they needed to be healthy for later on in the game. So I was really looking towards the team that I had, and I wanted to actually also lead off with Gudra. But I didn't quite know if that was the real uh, thing I should do. So in the end, I actually decided to indeed open up my Venusaur to get the Mega Evolution off and see what he uh, and see what he probably would lead with. Because when I look at this team, he, I see that he does not have great answers to Mega Venusaur, so that's why. As you see, he's gonna open up with Weavile right here, as we are gonna open up with Mega Venusaur, and we see the Pressure Ability trigger on Weavile, and this turn I actually wanted to go for the Mega Evolution and the Giga Drain to sort of scout what Sandy probably would be, and actually see if he probably was adamant or jolly or whatnot. He goes for the Icicle Crash and we see that it does around 45% or so, which makes me um, believe that he is an adamant Life Orb Weavile. And I go for the Giga Drain, which is kind of two-shot after the Life Orb damage. But after taking the Icicle Crash, I didn't want to get my Venusaur too weakened, so I decided to switch out into my Galissapod, since it's expendable, since I did not see a Mana Champ on Conkeldur. He is going to go for the Icicle Crash again on the Galissapod, and it's not going to do anything, and he takes a bit more Life Orb damage. Since I know that uh, he cannot touch Galissapod in the slightest unless he's Aerial Ace, I want to scout for that and actually go for the Spike right here. He switches out into the Mantine, which is a good play on his part, but we get a Spike up on his side. So Galissapod, of course, does not want to stay in our Mantine, so I actually want to swap out my Galissapod right here into my Gudra. Because me switching out to my Gudra is actually allowing me to take any hit from him and maybe strike back with the Thunderbolt as well. On the turn and the swap out to do my Gudra, you see that he's actually going to go for the Defog and we are back to no hazard control on the field. So he's actually going to go for the Toxic, which is going to Toxic my Gudra, of course, and I'm going to go for the Thunderbolt, which is of course going to do a tremendous amount and does around 60% or something, 60-70%. We see that he has the leftovers, so that indeed means that he is a uh, defensive support Mantine. And actually this turn I go for the Sludge Bomb, predicting him in to swap out. And we also see that we outspeed, so I know from this point on the Mantine is p tying with Gudra. He gets a boost off and a bit le more leftovers recovery. And at this point, I didn't quite know what to do. But I knew I wanted to stay in. Because he now was in range for a Thunderbolt to take him out. As we unfortunately lose the speed high. And he is going to get a boost off to get to full HP. And we are going to do around 40-50% with this Thunderbolt right here. We do 40% to this Mantine with the Thunderbolt. As he gets another leftovers recovery boost. And now at this point, I am forced to actually switch out. Because Poison is going to take his toll. He's actually going to withdraw his Mantine uh, into the Hippowdon, probably get a Rocks, as I actually wanted to go into my uh, Tornadus. The reason I went Tornadus is because I could take any hit and actually take him out with a Hurricane, probably. But we take Sandstorm damage and I did not want to stay in, so he actually goes for the extra drill on my Toxic, because I knew I wanted to Toxic his wall, because uh, Hippowdon can be an issue. So we take a bit more Sandstorm damage, I actually want to swap out straight up into my Skarmory, because Skarmory straight up walls his extra drill. So he's going to go for the Iron Head on my Skarmory, take some uh, Rocky Helmet damage, of course, and is also going to take Life Orb damage. So Skarmory is indeed uh, able to stay in for his extra every day, and he's going to switch out to this Volcanion on the turn that I click Roar. The reason I click Roar is because Sand is still up, and I wanted to shuffle around because I know he did, was going to send in something that would be able to counter me. I Roar and Sceptile, unfortunately, but uh, on that call, I actually go to my Tornadus, as he is actually going to Mega Evolve. Turn on the Mega Evolves, actually gonna click the Work Up, and for the people who don't know, Work Up boosts your attack and your special attack. So I didn't quite still know what Sandy probably would be. Would it be physical? Would it be special? I really don't know. So the Sandstorm subsides this turn, and I was very pleased about that. And I go for the Hurricane, and unfortunately I miss, as it gets a plus one Dragon Pulse off, which I was very mad about. So actually, at this point, I didn't quite know what to do, but he is actually gonna swap out to his Hippowdon, because he knew at this point that I was going to be a Scarf Tornadus, else I was not able to outspeed his Sceptile. So Sceptile is indeed a workup mon, and I did, was very scared of that. As the opponent comes in, I actually want to swap out my Tornadus into my Skarmory, because Skarmory can do with anything, and get up has and get rid of the hazards. 
He is gonna click Stalwart on my swap, and I'm gonna defog them away on the um, on the hip powdown. So we are no rocks on our side of the field because I do not want that. And he's gonna click go for the whirlwind, as he's gonna whirlwind in my Gudra, of course. Which is unfortunate for us because now we take sandstorm damage and we are gonna be able to take the poison damage. Wanted to predict actually a swap out, which I didn't want to risk. I actually go into the star screen predicting him to go for the uh, extra drill swap probably. As he does not, he actually takes his turn now to actually go for the stealth rocks and star scream is back in again and goes for the defog again. Because we want to make clear to Hale right here that we do not want rocks on our side of the field. He's gonna click whirlwind again and there goes Skarmory back again and now we are brought out into my, uh, into my Venusaur which is not gonna take sensor damage this turn. He doesn't want to take tremendous damage, so he's actually going to swap out into the Mantine, as I'm going to click Sludge Bomb, predicting that. Sludge Bomb is going to do a good amount, and at this point, the reason I uh, stayed in with Venusaur is because I needed actually to get the poison off on this Mantine. He's actually going to Roost, and probably wants to stall me out of PP, so he recovers up with Roost a bit more, as I am just forced to actually go for the Sludge Bomb, because the Mantine was a big issue for my team at this time, because Gudra was getting low. Actually wanted to go for the Giga Drain this turn for, uh, to actually gain some more recovery because I thought we were a bit too low to take our Scepta off needed. As he's actually got a defog and I don't quite know why he would defog. Uh, after the match he said to me that it was a misclick. But I don't know why. So this turn I actually go for the Slush Bomb again and I finally get the poison on him. Which means that this Mantine is going to be on the timer which I was actually aiming for. He is going to boost up. Get some leftover recovery together with that as well. And the poison damage is eventually going to wreck up to him if uh, if he likes it or not. So now that I poisoned the Mantine, I actually wanted to go for the knockoff to get rid of his item to put him on a bigger timer. As he switches to Volcanion, it's going to take a bit from this knockoff, not too much. As I see, we do not knock off an item, so we know that he is a Z-Mon. I actually swapped to Gudra because Gudra can take any one hit from this Volcanion as we see that he pulls out a Flamethrower. Flamethrower is not going to do anything because we're Assault Fest, we're Defensive, and we are a Dragon type, so we resisted it as well. So now I didn't quite know what to do, as he's actually gonna mech, uh, he's gonna go for the Z move, and we see that he has the Black Hole Eclipse. Since he's the Black Hole Eclipse, it is gonna do tremendous damage towards us, of course. Uh, I didn't quite know what move that probably was that he used, but it's not gonna be able to take me out, unfortunately. But I'm gonna go for the Sludge Bomb and do not get a poison on him, was my final call to make. Jenna is unfortunately gonna faint to the poison that Mantine landed on us, so that's that. And actually right here, I decided I wanted to go out into my Tornadas and then be able to hurricane him to Oblivion if need be. He actually is going to swap out again into his one that he is always going to switch into my... Uh, which he's always going to switch into my Tornadas, which is then uh, going to be his Apowdon. On the Apowdon, I actually decided I wanted to go for the U-turn. And the reason I wanted to go for the U-turn is because I knew he would swap into a Apowdon. With me knowing that he would indeed swap to a Apowdon, I know... That I then indeed could go for the U-turn, swap out into my Venusaur. Because Venusaur was able to pressure his Apowdon. So Groot right here is going to be buffeted by the Sandstorm. After we also hit him with a Giga Drain. And he sets up rocks at that point. So we are in a bit of a timer at this point. So I wanted to take on this Apowdon 1v1 anyway. And goes for the Giga Drain as he's actually going to go to the Mantine. So even though Mantine is poisoned, it's still going to be annoying as hell. Um, he is now around 45% or something, and after the poison he's gonna drop towards 30 or something. So at this point I actually wanted to go for the Sludge Bomb to put him down below that the poison may take him out if he did not go for the recovery. As indeed this is gonna go for the recovery, get some more um, poison damage on the way, also get some more sand damage and then leftovers recovery on top of that. So we see that Manta gets his leftovers recovery and I knew at this point that I really needed to get rid of those because without those... We are, are not winning this stall war. So I wanted to go for the Giga Drain again to actually stall out the sand and then be on no normal health actually with Venusaur. As he's actually going to roost again. So he's just, spam uh, he's just spamming roost actually to, uh, to stall us out of Giga Drains potentially. So the Sandstorm is now going to subside which is meaning that we are not going to take any more damage actually. So he's going to be hurt by poison a bit more and this turn I wanted to go for the knockoff and I didn't really care if he swapped or not. So we actually knock off his leftovers right here as he's going to boost again. And I was like, alright, Mantine, you lost your leftovers, you are poisoned, you are on the timer, and you cannot beat us at this point. So at this point, I actually wanted to switch out my Venusaur and go out into my uh, Skarmory because I wanted to get rid of the rocks. This turn, actually, he is going to go for the Scald, trying to get a burn on our Venusaur, but he instead gets the burn on our Skarmory. So it gets more uh, poison damage on him. 
and I was really afraid that I was not able to actually live. But he is actually going to swap out his Mantine and goes into the Hepaudon to probably get a, a Slack of off or something. Uh, as he is also going to get the Sand Knot. So this turn I wanted to go for Roost because I needed my Skarmory healthy enough to the point where I still could uh, counter Excadrill. So at this point, even though I didn't really care if Hepaudon went for the... Uh, Went for the slack off or not. I really needed to get the rocks out of the way. So he indeed is going to go for the slack off right here. Elder by Roost that I had with Skarmory. And brings it around, around 70% or something. We're going to take a bit more burn damage. And this turn uh, I'm actually going to swap out into my uh, Venusaur. So this turn he actually goes for the Stealth Rock. And I was like why does the Stealth Rocks keep coming back? They're annoying as heck and I don't need them. So we get a bit buffeted by the Sandstorm. As he is actually now going to get swapped out into his Sceptile. I knew that I was be able to stay in, so I actually go for the Giga Drain to take out the Hippowdon, or potentially then indeed do damage to the incoming Escadrill, which I predicted. And instead he actually swaps out to his Mega Sceptile here on my uh, Mega Venusaur. And I thought that this was the point where we all have been waiting for, Mega Venusaur needs to take out the Sceptile, no matter what. Mega Sceptile now goes for the Dragon Pulse, it's going to do a crit damage amount to us. Unfortunately he critted, does the crit matter to the long run though. As we are going to crit him straight back with, with Sludge Bomb because Groot just doesn't care. Groot just wants to say, get out of here, I crit you if need be, don't crit me. He now goes into the Volcanius, so I'm actually going to go into my Galissa Pot because I didn't want to review my Greninja set quite yet. So I'm actually going to go into my uh, Galissa Pot to get the Emergency Exit and then go into my Greninja as my probably best play. As he's actually going to go for the Flamethrower and Burns us in the long run as well. And now actually I wanted to go into my Greninja. Stones dug into the Greninja, of course, and now he actually wants to swap out his Volcanion, and I don't quite know why. But he actually goes into the Mantine right here. I'm gonna go for the Power Up Punch and get a boost on him as well. So we are plus one right now, and his Mantine uh, was annoying as heck. So that's why I went for the Z move right here. The reason I went for the Z move is because uh, Mantine was bit was actually more of a pain to me than I thought it would be, and I thought I could handle Volcanion in another way. So actually I'm going to go for the Continental Crush and I'm going to be able to take down this Mantine with the Continental Crush right here. So Greninja did his work with the Z-Crystal that we gave him and now he actually goes into the Hippowdon. He actually made a good play right here and he's actually going to withdraw his Hippowdon again and goes into the Volcanion to get actually the Water Absorb boost. Which I actually, which I accidentally fall for uh, uh, again actually because I didn't quite expect him to go into the Volcanion. Either way, even though I'm at plus one, I did not quite want to risk us uh, taking the damage from Volcanion that we actually took. <coughs> but he now actually is going to go into the Excadrill on my Rock Slide, and I thought like, all right, I need you to, I need to do as much damage to this Volcanion as possible. So Mimado is actually going to get uh, buffeted by the Sandstorm, and I really did not want to lose him towards Excadrill. So I'm actually going to go to Star Screen because that was my counter to Excadrill every day of the week. As he's going to go for the Iron Hat, which is going to do not that much again. And he's going to take the Rocky Helmet and the Life Orb damage again. Now I know that I just needed one more hit on him with Life Orb or an Iron Hat. And then he would be in range for Water Shuriken later on. So we actually now decides, decides to swap out his extra drill towards his Powdon. As I'm actually going to go for the Roost to keep myself healthy. So Burn Damage is actually going to stay the same on Skarmory. And I actually wanted to go for the Defog to lower his evasiveness right here and get rid of the Rocks. So he actually goes for the Earthquake now, predicting us to Roost for some reason, which I did not expect because we were not at the point where I needed to Roost. So the Sandstorm subsides and now actually I wanted to swap out into my uh, Venusaur as he's actually going to go for the Earthquake and here was a scary moment because I barely lived on the Earthquake. So at this point, even though the Sand was not up, I needed to go for the Synthesis just to get my uh, health back and I did not reveal it so he would probably not expect it. So he's actually going to go for the Whirlwind right now. And Roar went me out into the Greninja, which was just fine for me. And actually, this turn, I wanted to swap my Greninja out again and go into my Tornados, predicting him to go into the Volcanion. As he's actually going to go indeed into the Volcanion on my Tornado swap. And I actually wanted to go for the U-turn this turn. Because he went to a Powdon, as I probably would expect, and it sets up the Sand again. No, I went for the Hurricane. I'm sorry. I went for the Hurricane this turn because turn, um, Volcanion was indeed a threat towards us. So Tornadus does indeed land a hurricane in the sand, so good job, buddy. And actually now I wanted to go into my Star Scream because I knew that he probably would slack off, set up rocks, or probably would sack himself. So I didn't want to actually get a status or a rock set up on my side of any or what's any kind of sort. 
So even though he did not have Rock Stop, I wanted to lower his evasiveness to a point where I knew that Hurricane would not miss next time if he would stay in for that long. So actually he goes then for the Stealth Box again. And now I actually wanted to go for the Defog and it was a toss up for me if I wanted to go for the Roost or the Defog. I made a safe play and go for the Defog because that was important, more important to me. As he's actually going to Stealth Box again. And I was like, alright, are we going to play this game where you set up rocks and I get Defog all the time? So I actually decided to go for the Roost this turn and pray to the Lord that he wouldn't click Earthquake. As he's actually going to st Stealth Block again as the Sand is going to subside so we knew that he wasted all his turns of Sand right here. So Starscreen is actually going to go for the, the Defog and I expected him to go for the Whirlwind uh, probably. As he indeed is going to go for the Whirlwind and he is going to Whirlwind us out towards our Greninja. And at this point, I really thought, all right, I need to make some plays right here. So he's actually going to switch out into the Volcanion because it was the obvious play to make. But I knew he would swap out, so that's why I went for the Power Up Punch to actually whittle down his Volcanion a bit more. But this time, he is actually going to swap out his uh, Volcanion again into the Hippowdon on my Rock Slide. Um, and actually, after the, uh, after the Rock Slide, I knew that he was in range for a Waterfall to actually take him out. So Zabimaru is actually going to get buffeted by the Sandstorm on one more turn and actually decide to go for the Waterfall this turn. As we are able to take down the Zapowder, so that's no more Stealth Rocks, no more Sand for you on the field. So Zapowder is going to fade to Greninja and Greninja did his work so far yet again. He actually goes to the Excadrill and it did not want to rely on the fact um, to uh, him indeed outspeeding us so that's why I went for the Water Shuriken. He is going to get a Water Absorb, of course, on the Volcanion, and I was like, I am so mad about this. Why does Volcanion need to have Water Absorb? I can swear, why? So actually, this turn, I wanted to swap out Mazabi Maru because I know that I needed it for later because of the Water Shuriken. So at this point, I actually wanted to sack off my Galissapod because I knew that it could not do anything, as he's actually going to go for the Sludge Wave and is going to be able to take us out with the Sludge Wave. Volcanion is going to get buffeted a bit more by the Sandstorm. And I'm actually going to go into the Venusaur because I knew because he had Flamethrower that we could live any one hit. So he actually goes for the, uh, for the Flamethrower. It's not going to do a tremendous amount. But I actually go for the Giga Drain to bring him below half to the point where Greninja could 1v1 him easily. So we recover a bit more uh, health as the Sandstorm is going to subside. And I actually wanted to swap out my uh, Venusaur for later. So I now go to the Tornadus and take a Flamethrower and the reason I did this was because I knew I could let anyone hit. So right here is actually going to swap out this Volcanion and he goes into the Escadrill right here and I didn't want to risk it and go for the Super Power. So with the Super Power we are going to be able to take out the Escadrill, which is also going to be less worrisome for us. And now he's actually going to go into Weavile. So at this point I didn't really, really want to sack my Tornado so I actually wanted to swap it out into my Star Scream because I probably could get some Rocky Helmet damage on him if need be. He actually goes for the Ice Sharp which is going to do a bit towards us but he is going to get more Life Orb damage. So at this point I really wanted to go for the Iron Hat and just do not waste any more time because we were running against the timer at this point. Because I think at this point of the match we were around 10 minutes or so left before the timer would run out so that's why. I went for the Iron Head just to get a bit more chip damage and actually decided to sack Skarmory at this point. Because if I would sack Skarmory that would mean that if I go into Greninja that I probably could win the game there. But I actually decided to go into the uh, Volcanion because I didn't quite want to play around with the fact that he would swap out to Weavile and whatnot. So right here is actually going to go, I'm going to go for the Hurricane, take down his Volcanion and then he goes out to the Weavile. So right here I wanted to actually sack my Tornadus because I knew that if I went into my Greninja the next turn I would win with the Water Shuriken. So he's actually going to get a bit more life for damage and Greninja is just going to go for the Water Shuriken and one is going to be enough to take him out. Ice Shot brings us down to red but not enough of course and that is where your low landing the Queens win 2-0 versus Hill and that's going to be the match. Thank you all so much for watching to this match. And I'm the Grounded Glide Score, and I will see you in the next video, whatever I'm gonna make. I will see you next time, and I'm out, guys. Bye!